Hello, welcome to Tells and Whistles. Today, we're embarking on a heartwarming journey through the streets of Shibuya, where the tale of loyalty transcends time itself. Join us as we unfold the story of Hachiko, the faithful Akita who became a symbol of devotion. So grab your tissues and let's dive into the legacy of Japan's most beloved dog. Nearly a century ago, a dog named Hachiko won over the hearts of the Japanese nation through his steadfast loyalty to his owner. To this day, he is a beloved national icon whose story provides a touching example of just how strong the bond between dog and human can be. Adopted by a university professor named Yuno Isabiro, the pair used to walk to the train station together every morning and return home together every evening. After his master passed away unexpectedly, Hachiko spent the next decade waiting for his arrival. This is the story of Hachiko, Japan's most loyal dog. Hachiko was born on a farm in the Odate region of Japan in 1923, but his story begins a year later. That's when Yuno Isaburo, who had been looking for a purebred Akita dog like Hachiko, received him as a gift from one of his former students. However, when Yuno introduced Hachiko into his home, it was a rocky start. When Hachiko arrived, it was winter. He was frail and soon developed a fever. Yuno and his wife had to nurse the struggling pup back to health. They allowed him to sleep under their bed, wrapped in fabric. Then they placed ice bags on his forehead to cool him and used bags of hot water to keep his body warm. This kind of treatment toward pets was unusual then and showed just how much Professor Yuno loved Hachiko. Over several months, Hachiko eventually grew stronger, but Yuno continued to dote on his furry friend. He brushed his thick fur daily and fed him rich meals of rice with broth, milk, and liver. And he took him on long walks with his other two dogs. Hachiko soon got into the habit of accompanying his owner to Shibuya Station every morning, where Yuno would catch a train to the university. While Yuno was teaching, Hachiko would wait patiently for him on the platform. In the afternoon, Yuno would return, and the pair would walk home together. This was their routine for years until one day in May 1925, Professor Yuno didn't get off as he normally did. Hachiko waited patiently, as always, watching each train come and go. But his friend never showed up. It turns out that Professor Yuno had suffered a fatal brain hemorrhage that morning while teaching classes. Hachiko waited as the trains came and went. Finally, it began to grow dark, but still, he remained. The next day, Hachiko returned as usual. He waited all afternoon, but the professor never showed up. It didn't take long for Hachiko to become a well-known fixture at the train station. Employees fed him occasionally and even kept him company as he waited. Eventually, his story got out and curious people came to the station to see this special dog. One of those people was Hirokichi Sato, one of Yuno's former students and an expert on Akita dogs. He decided to follow Hachiko one day and was led to the house of Yuno's former gardener, Kusabiro Kobayashi. When one day in 1932, one of Sato's articles appeared in the national newspaper, Hachiko became an overnight celebrity. People from all over Japan came to see Hachiko while he waited for his deceased master. They regarded him not only as an example of loyalty, but also as a kind of good luck charm. Hachiko was no doubt happy to have company, but he didn't let it distract him from his duty. He continued waiting for nine years and nine months, determined to be there to greet his master when he finally returned. One day, some employees found Hachiko's body slumped over on the side of the road outside the station. At 11 years old, the loyal dog passed away of natural causes, but he had never stopped waiting. Ever since his passing, Hachiko's story has served as an inspiration to many. Fittingly, a bronze statue was also erected in Hachiko's honor at the Shibuya train station. He was even present to witness the unveiling in 1934. That statue was destroyed during World War Roman II, but a new one was built in its place, which serves as a popular meeting point for locals. We hope Hachiko's story has touched your heart as it has ours. His loyalty reminds us of the unbreakable bond between humans and their furry companions. If you've enjoyed this tale of unwavering faithfulness, please like, share, and comment below with your own stories of animal loyalty. Until next time, keep the spirit of Hachiko alive in your hearts and always remember to cherish the companionship of our four-legged friends. Farewell.